All right, welcome back. If you're just joining us, we are just one day away from the first Republican presidential debate. Charles Benson joining us live now from TMJ4's temporary studio location for Wednesday night's GOP debate. Charles. Shannon, looking forward to having you down here, but I found one of our friends from Scripps News, congressional correspondent Nate Reed. And Nate, we know a lot of candidates are on the ground and they also have a lot of surrogates on the ground. You ran into one of them today. That's right. I spoke with Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene. She is the Republican representative for Georgia who has been a longtime ally of, ally of former President Trump and a sometimes surrogate for him, often floated to as a possible vice presidential pick for the 2024 race. She said that it was her suggestion that former President Trump sit this debate out. Take a listen. He doesn't need to debate. Um, that was actually a bit of advice I gave him. Uh, given that he's winning with over 40 points ahead, uh, he doesn't need to prove to the American people what he can do as president. He's already proven it with a four-year record. And Marjorie Taylor Greene is far from the only Trump surrogate on the ground here at the Pfizer Forum in Milwaukee. There are multiple Trump surrogates who are here, the former president, though, choosing to forego this debate, mm -hmm. instead posting something on X, the social media platform formerly known as Twitter, an interview he did several days ago reportedly with former Fox News host Tucker Carlson. We just have a few seconds left, but we do know that um, with these eight, eight candidates, you've spent time in Iowa. What can Wisconsin voters expect to see out of these eight? Well, Wisconsin voters are going to have an interesting picture here, especially because these candidates are going to be debating with former President Trump as the elephant in the room. He will not be present on the debate stage, but he will be all but present in every argument. All of these candidates, given that this is going to be the location of the Republican National Committee's uh, convention next year, about a year ago today, that will be the coronation of the eventual Republican candidate to face off against President Joe Biden. This is going to be their opportunity to try and break through, break through to voters to try and make clear why they are the most likely option to beat President Biden in the polls next year. It begins and ends in Milwaukee. We appreciate your time. Nate Absolutely. Reed.